Affordable Arting with Miss Beach. Let's learn how to make a spinner top out of an old CD. Hi, Miss Beach here. Today I'm going to tell you how you can take some old CDs and turn them into a cool piece of art. So we're going to make spinners out of these things. Now sometimes they come white and that makes it super easy. Sometimes there's already stuff on them. And make sure you check with your parents before you use an old CD, but there's so many of these lying around. CD-ROMs from computers and old CDs nobody listens to anymore. So these are great to make cool art with. And they're cool and rainbow on this side. So the first thing I'm gonna tell you is you need some CDs. You'll need paper, a glue stick possibly. I got extra paper. One I've already started. Something to color with either crowns or markers, something round, like a ping pong ball or a marble or something. You can experiment and try different ones. And then also some scissors, maybe. So the first thing I'm gonna do, there's two ways to make your spinner. You can make one that's like a top that just spins, or you can make one that actually makes marks, which is kind of fun. So I'm gonna make the one that makes marks first. I'm gonna take my spinner, and I started with one of these, the little windy on my table, sorry, my paper's blown up, which was just a plain blank one. I got a whole bunch donated to me. You might find some of these, and then that makes your job a little easier. You can see that I've already started to color the color wheel, which is actually right behind me on the poster. There's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and I'm missing one. Do you know what it is? I know you do, it's purple. So I'm gonna finish that one up. And I just colored this with crowns. You wanna do something that doesn't smear too much, but can be a bright color. Markers work, sometimes oil pastels can be really fun, but they just smear a little too much. Your choice, your art, experiment. I'm just giving you some tips. Okay, after you get the whole thing colored, then it's time to put your tool on the inside. Now I've done this so many different ways. Let me take this marker here and stick it through. Now some markers like Crazy Art and Crayola are really good size and you don't need to do anything else but push that circular disc up. Some things are a little bit skinnier and you might wanna add a little piece of tape. Tape makes it not permanent, but you can use it. Now the fun part. I like to put the lid here so I can practice. And you just take it and roll your hands together and let go. <gasps> and it makes some cool art. And you never know, different ones will Hey, it do fell off, let's things. add tape. So I am just going to take it and hold my hands together and spin. This works really great if you have a giant piece of paper to see what kind of marks you can make. And sometimes I don't touch it till it totally stops. I really like that circle. And the nice thing about putting tape on your spinner is that if you get tired of that color, you can switch it out. And that also is good for your marker so it doesn't dry out too much. I'm just gonna switch my colors and add a little yellow and see what happens. Oh, neat. Again, this could look so cool if your whole paper or floor was covered in paper and you just keep spinning to see what kind of marks you make. Every time you wanna add something new, you just remove the tape, close up your marker. What if I try to crown, guys? I don't know, I don't think it's big enough. It's not gonna stick, but it might with a lot of tape. I don't know. Here's the thing about art. We can experiment and try new things, and you'll learn that some things work better than others. Okay, it's skinny enough. Let's try spinning it this way. <gasps> it didn't work great, but hey, I got some cool marks out of it. Oh, probably not my favorite. I dropped it, but it's coming out really interesting. So that's one way to use an old CD to make a mark-making spinner top. The other option is to do a cool design on top. Now, if you have a clear one, you can just draw straight on like I did with my last one, but I have one that's an old CD-ROM. Or CDs sometimes have things printed too. So what I'm gonna do first is take a color, it doesn't matter what color, pencil, something, and I'm just gonna trace it 
I always like to trace in my corner instead of dead in the center of my paper because I want to be able to use this big piece for something else. After I trace it, then I'm going to go ahead, let me save that ping pong ball so it doesn't run away, and cut it out. Do, 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 do. Now the cool thing about these is you can make more than one. So I've been tracing and cutting out, but before I actually want to draw, I'm going to put my spinner top together with some hot glue. You need something round, like a ping pong ball or a marble, and I'm just going to add a little hot glue on the back. You want to use a low temp so it doesn't melt your ping pong ball, and also so it doesn't hurt you. When you use hot glue, always ask your grown-up for help. And I just set that right in the circle. Then I'll flip it over and add another ring of hot glue right next to the inside of my CD circle, and then take my lid and add that on top. Just like so. Sometimes I add a little extra ring. If I know I'm gonna be spinning it really hard, I'll give it a little around the circle. And I used a water bottle lid, so it's not very high on this one and a ping pong ball. This one, I used a glue top lid and a ping pong ball, but anything round would work, like a marble or something like that. Okay, so I've already cut out one circle, but the cool thing about spinner tops is you can have more than one circle. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut out this circle. So after you get it cut out, then you're gonna take your paper and soft taco fold it, pinch right in the center, put a snip, open it back up, and cut a bigger circle around it that's gonna fit over where you added your lid. And double check it, it's okay if you have to go back and cut a little bit more. We're artists, we're allowed to make mistakes, it's not a big deal. Okay, ta-da! Now I can color it. I recommend trying two primary colors. So I'm gonna do some blue and some yellow. Now I'm kind of brushing just a little bit because I want you to have a chance to check this out. When you do yours, take your time, go slow, really get all the white spots and it works even better. I like highlighter yellow, I think it's fun. So I'm gonna add some of that in, in all my white spots. So it just goes yellow, blue, yellow, blue. When you spin it, the centrifugal force is so fast. That means the circle going around and around and around. It's so fast, your eye can't keep up and it naturally will blend the two primary colors together. Are you ready? So I'm gonna put it on my top and I'm gonna spin it. <gasps> it looks like green, it looks like green. Oh my gosh, it's magic. You and I both know I didn't color any green. Amazing.